So we're looking at the Blackmagic Cinema camera here, and we're going to talk a little bit about the touch screen here. The first bit is if you just hit the touch screen, this is going to be pretty much your slate you can set up, so you can go ahead and uh, type in all of your whatever it's going to be. And uh, you can set up all your reels, takes, shots. And the nice part here is you can basically set up that, that auto take uh, capability here. So if I hit that every time I go to a new shot, it's just going to auto include the next shot, next shot, next shot. And that's going to be driving that into the metadata. So when I load this up into an application, I can basically search, I want you shot three, bang, and it will just show up for you. So that's just a nice bit we have there. If I hit the menu button, this is going to really be where I drive all of my menu settings as well. And this is laid out on the left-hand side here. This is my camera settings, or basically for the what we're looking at there, the mic settings, actual recording settings, and then your outside monitor settings. So it's pretty laid out pretty simply. This is what we are looking at right now. Uh, this is the camera that we have right here. It's dates, times we're able to set up. Uh, the ISO is set up here. It's a native 800 ISO, but we actually let it go up to 1600. That's about where the noise is tolerable. Beyond that, not so much. Right now, normal 800, down to 400. Uh, white balance settings and shutter angle settings there. This is our basic audio inputs. Right now, it's just dealing with volume controls. So you can plug in your headsets. You can deal with your audio inputs, and you can set all your audios there. There's a built-in mic and a built-in speaker just for having, much like your normal computer built-in mic, you know, they're usable but not glamorous. And then recording format, these are all locked right now, uh, but this is where you would choose. Obviously right now it's doing a raw 2.5K, I would be able to choose ProRes or DNX HD. Uh, the dynamic range, this is basically just doing a, you know, putting on a curve there. Frame rate, everything's locked to 24p, but it's essentially a 30p camera and down. And then uh, SDI output format, we got a couple different things we want to change in here as far as how we're doing the outputs. Is it going to be a log output? Is it going to be a clean output? So we're going to have some options to change there. And then uh, display settings, this is all for your external display as well, being able to add the zebra, um, basic settings that we're doing for the output there. And that's pretty much, I know the rest of your buttons are start, stop. Uh, your autofocus up here for being able to go through. You can control the iris on electronically on amounts that do. This one is not, and it's a step step for the irises. So it's a camera, you know, much like you know. Uh, you know we look. I kind of make the joke of you know. You look at an iPhone. You know, it's very easy to use. It's got a lot of capabilities in there. But it's not like working on your laptop that has a lot more. And that's what the camera idea is here. How do I get 80% of what I'm going to use every day in there? And we realize we don't have 20% of those other things. And those cameras are great cameras, and you know they exist out there. But this falls into that space in between kind of that DSLR and that cinema camera.